Robbie has got all the gear, but no idea. Fortunately, our code of conduct will keep him on the right side of the law, protecting our hobby and preserving our heritage. Before he starts metal detecting, Robbie needs public liability insurance to shield against accidental damage. If he's an NCMD member, this cover is included. He must have permission from the landowner. Where land is leased, he'll need to ask for the tenant and landowner's permission and never detect on or near a protected site. If in doubt, he must check with the landowner. And remember, all land has an owner. Robbie needs to follow the countryside code and not block land access, damage crops, or disturb animals. He must dig carefully and reinstate the ground as he found it, disposing of any rubbish responsibly. It's crucial for Robbie to recognize an important find. If he makes a discovery below the plow level or finds something that needs further investigation, he must stop digging and make the landowner aware that he's seeking expert help. It is a legal requirement for Robbie to report accurate locations of archaeological finds covered by Rec Law and the Treasure Act 1996 within 14 days. It is also recommended that he records finds with a portable antiquity scheme, whose database helps to build a picture of our history and heritage. Robbie has a responsibility to notify the police if he suspects any theft or other illegal activity. He must let them know if he finds human remains, live explosives or other weaponry. It is important that he doesn't touch the object or potential crime scene. If in doubt, like Robbie, visit our website for more information.